going on, everybody? It's me, Sean Burlington of House Tank Top, and uh, <laughs> we are nice. here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, and uh, we are here to do um, official trailer reaction for the little trilogy that could. Yeah, a little. They did it. The, you know what I'm saying? Almost. Like for John Wick Three, Parabellum. Does anybody know what Parabellum means? Actually, I don't. Uh, I have to. I, I think it. I think it's not. literally like a, a term for war. Oh, okay, yeah. I think it's literally some. I think it's okay. like some some flim flam uh, Italian. Yeah, you so, know. So bellum is a Latin Grecian. root word meaning bellicose or like prone to war or violent behavior. That's I don't kind know of what it, it's something. Is. It's something like that. Yeah. Like, it's in that wheelhouse. Right. It sticks out a little bit. I mean, I, I love these movies so much, and I really want them to stick that like ten out of ten landing and be like the rare great trilogy. The consistent trilogy. Right off the bat, right. though, the naming device throws me off because, like, two wasn't called, you know. It was just chapter two. Right. It was just chapter yeah, two. Right. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't which like was which, which, antecedent. Right. Like, <laughs> you know, like, like, <laughs> which was, like, you know, kind of like harkens back to the days where we're just like, we're just going to put numbers on the board. Or, no, this sure. is a precursor. I think we're going to get, like, a Civil, Civil War prequel, John Wick Chapter Zero, Antebellum. Antebellum. <laughs> that would be very good. Yeah. 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 Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's, let's do it. it. Lionsgate, like it, good, <laughs> okay. awesome. All right, yeah. All right. Still a lot of good rainbow colors being used. Oh, yeah. So this is right where two ends. Inky Blacks, yeah, he's been revoked from the Continental and all of its privileges. All of its privileges. Jonathan. Started raining, it wasn't raining before. <laughs> what you want. Is that Houston? Houston? Wow. I did it my way. Yeah. You expect to make it out? That's the concierge, I think. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ladies and gentlemen, we have been we have yeah, gone to Blitz DefCon off. Braun. Yeah. We've gone to DefCon Braun. <laughs> I love those ladies in the office. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. That's your dude, right? Uh huh. Ian McShane, I love him. <laughs> oh, man. oh my god. If you want peace, prepare for war is going to be my guess. Oh my god. Oh, god That's man. sick. Lawrence Fishburne is back? Okay. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's going to be some Picasso? nice Orson Welles. Yeah. Oh man. The staging of it. He's literally riding a horse. horse. Yeah! Yeah! God. That's been a meme for months now. Wait, wait, wait. he's in Mad Max Fury Road now? Is that Halle Berry? Yeah, yeah. yeah. With her own dog. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah! Oh, oh, dog action! Oh my yeah. god! Dog action! Yes. We got some dog. I mean, yeah. We, in Game of Thrones fans, we like our dog. We like our dog action yeah, too. Sure. You know what I mean? Okay, oh, but to the shit. makers of John Wick, you keep that precious pit bull that is in one at the end of one and two. You keep him away from all this gunplay. That's right. Yeah. The shepherds. Right? Yeah, let them be your stunt dogs and attack dogs. You keep that. Yeah. What was that? Sweet, that... sweet boy away from all the. Dogs. Okay. In terms of things that I liked about this trailer, it's that consistency of tone that we were talking about. Exactly. In John Wick one and two, one thing that they do that's really great that a lot of like gritty action films don't do is they use color in a really expressive way splashes of big deep, bright like deep rainbow blacks, colors and then you have like these really expressive yeah. fucking I thought that that trailer showed me that they get that that is a beautiful thing and they're going to keep doing it I kind of I loved it the people like it the people yeah, like exactly. it just keep it in the yeah, picture right. yeah. <laughs> these movies are art projects they just the art that they're depicting is an action movie yeah and, right and uh I man, John Wick one. I remember when it came out. I slept on it, just kind of didn't think anything of it. And like, then, oh, I can't and then it came out, and then I started to like very trusted friends were like, "This movie seems to kind of like <laughs> literally what happened, like shaking me, running up in the streets. Like I dropped my groceries, and like you must see." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wrote it off as something less than what it was going to be, and then when I watched it, I was like, "Holy shit! Right. I need to stop." 
I need to just start watching things. Before I need to come. I need to come to Keanu. I don't want. I need to come to Keanu. Who kind of looks like Keanu? Come to Keanu. Yeah. yeah. And then same thing. Uh, it almost happened again with part two, where I was really excited for part two, but I was like, ah, it's a sequel. How good could it be? Yeah. And they still, and it was like and it was just still they, drew it forward. And yeah. They, and they walked that tightrope. Yeah. So well. And right. It's like do it a third time. Do it a third yeah. time. Yeah. You know, she came. She came for him, and she took down James Bond and die another day. Mm-hmm. And now she's back to take out another. Oh. Wow. Yeah. She's about to take out another action. Icon, yeah. your mama. Yeah, Halle Berry's in this movie, sure. which I think could be good. The way that they, the, they just kind of always, they seem to know how to utilize um, their actors well, tailor sure. their strengths mm-hmm. to the choreography of action that they do. Yeah, um, and, and, the I, feel like, and I feel like this too, is where right. like these all like everyone is so well cast in these movies, yeah. like right. Of course, like it was almost like the car dealership guy. And, like, of course, Ian <laughs> right. McShane runs the hotel. Like, right, right, right. With that voice, that guy's going to be the, the manager of anything. Oh, so sweet. Yeah. So velvety. Well, hello, John. What if we ran the assassins like White Castle? <laughs> <laughs> that is one thing I like about the John Wick series. It is reminiscent of a video game where like the whole world is like laid totally out for agree. you. And yeah, you like, totally can imagine agree. your own place in it. Like you would, I mean, I'm sorry to put you in a like a corner, but you could be like the cool assassin bartender in the John Wick. You haven't seen me hit that button and then the, and then the patron just disappears? Christ, I mean, that, no, not yet. <laughs> I mean, it's a world that exists with its own rules, operates yep. on its yep. own currency. Yep. yep. Yeah, I love and, and, I, and in plain sight. Yes. I love what, I, I do kind of like, like in part two, and they're like, oh, if we don't stop this guy, he's going to take over New York. I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> like, what do you get? Like, you're going to open up cool hotels and serve fancy dinners? I mean, yeah, <laughs> right. people are going to get shot, but it's still. <laughs> right, right. I, more of this doesn't sound bad at all. <laughs> Compositionally, it is kind of fantastical. It doesn't have to explain the reality of everything that happens. You just kind of accept that there's a secret underground right. international cabal of assassins. <laughs> and they also serve up roles for you to project yourself into. Right. You know, you got the hottie secretaries that are running that little, you know. Oh, like, yeah, you got. Oh, yeah, yeah, all the rockabilly. <laughs> you get, all yeah. the rockabilly chicks from, like, right. they, they got the OGs from the 50s because there's, like, the grandma rockabilly chick. <laughs> right. right. And then you got, you got, like, you know, the younger ones. Like, they're just, is this where all the menagerie of just like rockabilly like yeah, they, oh, yeah. Well, they have like the, the suicide girls like because yeah. they also have the killer because yeah. ho- <laughs> in part two they also have it. the killer hobos yeah so it's like it's like is right. this the work uniform or like do you all do you all pile up based on like yeah i'm a hitman who uses gold coins too but like I'm just a trashy, I'm still a trashy hobo. Do all the trashy hobos get together just like all the rockabilly chicks get together? Yeah, right, I'm right. so fascinated. There could be, and I don't of, even want to know the truth. There's, right. a, there's a lot of, what we're saying is in this world, there's a lot of possibility. Right. And there's a lot of sick ass stunts. Yeah. Yep. And great gunplay. It looks and cool the whole time. Like It's like getting a good meal. You want it to be made with care. You want somebody who is making you sushi to really like sushi. Sure, sure. And these guys are making this action film and they know how they want their shit shot. They know mm-hmm. how they want their stuff to look. They know how good and, and you know, well-trained they want there's all of their performers to be. There's a comprehensive artistic effort, I think, yeah. in these films. They're right. not just trying to load the world up with schlock or, like, big, exciting things. Right. They're trying to build the John Wick world right. and get you to invest. Yeah. In right. about it. And I think it works pretty yeah. well. Guillermo del Toro. They're trying to make a good movie. Yeah. Like, they're not trying to make... They're trying to make money, but they're trying... But they want to make a really awesome sure. action picture. Guillermo, sure. Guillermo del Toro said in terms of spectacle movies that there's eye candy and there's eye protein. <laughs> and this feels like... <laughs> That's great. And this feels like... Uh, John Wick has always felt like eye protein. Everybody everybody picks what character actor oh, I got would one. you love I've been to had see? One. Now, oh, I know that it already yeah. happened because Bron's in the fucking movie. It yeah. just happened. But that wasn't even it. That wasn't even it. But <laughs> no, I, I know, I know. But, but I like, got one, yeah. If, if we, if I we do could, have one. Go down the line. Yes. What, do you, what do you got, Max? I want to hear yours first. because Okay. I was thinking a fun one to bring back he's been in the type of he's dabbled in the crime stuff before people have found him to be an interesting bad guy for a little while now before that he wasn't so much i could absolutely see a fucking ben a sir ben kingsley oh sure yeah. roll into yeah. this movie yeah, yeah, yeah. um have you have you guys either of you guys seen sexy beast oh I, yeah with the, i've seen parts of it that i, that I mean he is good. fucking phenomenal in that he can be ferocious he can be he's just He's this teeny tiny man, and yeah. he and but he can be sold. Oh, short as, like, people have the biggest fucking attitudes, right? And they and, the, and, and they we fight all the, know they're short dudes, and they and, fight and, the hardest. All... I do. I need your help though. So uh, when I think about like a supporting cast character, I'd love to see in John Wick. I think about what was the name of the uh, kind of comedic, amusing black cop from the Predator reboot. 
Sterling K. Brown. I kind of chewed like this a lot. Yeah. He saw something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. But I'd love to see him take that character, this kind of bemused, smarmy cop, and put him into Ooh. the uh, into the John Wick. World. Yeah, like take that performance. They have that a cop angle. in the John Wick yeah. movies already, and he's like in on the he's in on the the world. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. Um, All right. Next. He's been in both movies. I wouldn't be surprised if he's in this one. <laughs> right. Yeah, that cop who's like, "How you doing, John?" Just, oh yeah, he's working. Like, yeah, that cop, a busy night. That cop yeah. clearly knows what's up because uh, I'm thinking along the lines of like the show they're doing is the Continental, and the world they built about the Continental hotels is that it's this haven for assassins, and each one is headed by a wise old guy. Sure. Okay, so it's like the New York one is Ian McShane. He goes to he goes to Rome in part two, and it's Frank Nero. Yeah, right. the guy who right. hates right. Django. Like, you gotta get a, you gotta get a fucking heavy. You gotta get a heavy. You gotta get a. So width. I mean, this uh, that <laughs> open, that width opens width up the possibility. Yeah. yeah, I got you. So that just opens up the possibilities of you every continental hotel in every city in the world where there is one could have a cool ass old guy. Sure. Yeah. And but the one that I thought the one that I came up with and I want credit if this ever happens. <laughs> Uh, is if you go to the Continental Miami, I want it to be Edward James almost. Okay. Okay. And I want him to, yeah, I want him to just have a drink, food to his hand at all times, <laughs> and I want Silver Fox, Edward James almost sure. mustache, just mustache. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. Yeah. He, no, like, he he could sell like one that. part stand and deliver, one part Battlestar Galactica. Right. That Edward James almost. What about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ian McKellen in the London branch. You know, this is yeah, a really any, fun that's, idea. That's actually. what I'm saying. Like any, uh, like, what if, or like, what if, what if, like Ian McShane like? We so, just made a new drinking game, guys. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you pick a continental in a city. Who's who's the head of that continental? Would, like Jackie Chan in Beijing, maybe. Yeah, sure, like, sure, or sure, like Max sure. von Sydow in like Sweden sure. or something yeah, like that. Okay. Like, you uh, know. yeah, I'm trying to think of the Canadian one. Uh, <laughs> R.I.P. Jim Carrey in no. Toronto. I was going to say, R.I.P. Mr. Like, Lady. Well, Mr. Lady I think from that Trailer Park you, Boys. John Wick, need to go away. <laughs> like, no, Jim Carrey's like Your a dead Santa now. membership has been anymore. revoked. Like, <laughs> this is a bro down, bro town. Yeah, that's one <laughs> where I'll give, it, I'll give it down to the Dark Lord Satan and be like, yeah, fuck work, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, oh, dude, absolutely. Yeah, so <laughs> hard so cut to like a month from now, Max is like, I'm unemployed. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Oh well, no! When the TV show goes, when the I'm TV always goes, cold. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy comes over. He's just like, "Hey, do you want to make some easy money? Yeah, here's a guy." And then I become a homeless become man. A homeless yeah. Man. yeah. But it's like, maybe, so like, or maybe like, maybe like a guy who's like, maybe like a Willem Dafoe type thing, where he's like, he's like, I'm a bad man with a heart of gold. Like, nah, I think he's gonna be the piece of shit who who like we're gonna we're gonna cheer we're gonna cheer when he dies. I'll cheer when he dies if he's a bad enough piece of shit. Yeah, yeah he's an asshole. Yeah, yeah. 